morning. I'm on the campus of Wuhan University, the university where I teach, and we are one week out from classes beginning, which means the freshmen are out doing their two weeks military training. Fortunately for them, the heat wave that has been hitting Wuhan and uh, the rest of central and southern and northern and western China has uh, broken. It's a beautiful cloudy day after a rainy day yesterday. I'm sure that these guys are so happy about this situation. About the marching, I'm not so sure about. Let me give you some background. The um, students usually do their training, the freshmen, in the first two weeks of the actual fall semester. And I always thought that that was kind of a waste uh, and unfortunate because the students then get two fewer weeks of school than the rest of the student body. But this semester, they're doing it two weeks early. This is actually the second week of their training and like i said we start classes next week can't wait i'm just speculating but i'm pretty sure that the reason that they're able to get the students out here two weeks early is because of the COVID situation in past years uh before all this i am sure that you know it wasn't reasonable to expect parents to let their children go in their summer vacation two weeks early to get to school to do some marching. But these days with um, students having to come to campus and basically sequestering themselves, isolating themselves on campus for maybe seven or 14 days, uh, it makes a lot of sense. Now um, the students come early and uh, they get settled in, do their training, and they'll be ready to go. By the way, None of these soldiers are actual soldiers, except for the trainers. And um, I don't expect any of them will be in the military in the future. They just have this military training. Everybody who goes to a public university will do this training. I worked at a private university before, and uh, they didn't do this training. Go figure. What's it all about? The way I figure it, it's, it's about inculcating these young men and women with patriotism, national spirit, maybe a little discipline. In addition to the training, um, I've heard from students, you know, they have a lot of uh, counseling type classes. You know, classes about um, how to be a good college student, uh, you know, your basic how to uh, live a, away from your parents. So it's a kind of a, they combine military training with training on how to be a student. I keep expecting someone to tap me on the shoulder or punch me on the shoulder and tell me that I can't film here, but you know, I will just film until I can't. I mean, it's not like state secrets, secret military training or anything, but uh, you know, you never know with tensions or uh, not knowing somebody's intentions. My intentions are not at all nefarious, ill-willed. I'm not looking to uh, divulge state secrets. <laughs> and besides, if there are any state secrets out here, then China's got a lot more problems than they know they have. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Ah, busted. The walk of shame. It's too bad I didn't get that guy, the drill sergeant, on a video telling me to stop. Thing was, there was another guy, Chinese guy, also taking pictures. And the drill sergeant was pointing to him and then me. And so I didn't have my camera trained on him. There's that guy. He's not letting a drill sergeant tell him what to do. By the way, on the subject of patriotism, inculcation, we got a memo the other day, the teachers in our teaching group, probably in all teaching groups, to remind us to be very careful that if we show a map of China to include Taiwan, uh, maybe the uh, South China Sea, and uh, disputed lands with India, uh, and whoever else they're disputed lands with. I thought that was interesting. What I, what I thought of was that as a foreign teacher, I have known that for years. I mean, it's just, it's one of the things that, um, you know, somebody, a colleague, uh, a Western colleague will remind you, you know, D don't do this, don't do that. Uh, so we know that, and I'm sure that the Chinese teachers know it too, but um, it turns out that this has, it has nothing to do with foreigners. It's really interesting. If, if you didn't know, there was a, uh, uh, there were textbooks for, I think, elementary school students. Um, I don't remember, it was a while ago, it was like a couple years ago. Anyway, there were some terrible characterizations. Uh, there was a Chinese flag with the stars the wrong way. There were some really uh, lewd and lurid actions by little school children, you know, in these kind of cartoon illustrations. And so this was a big furor last year. And um, that's all been taken care of. So now they're being very careful. Make sure that you have the correct number of stars on your flag and they're on the right side, the correct side of the, the big star. And make sure that uh, your maps are correct with um, the entire China the same color. It's, you know, it's all part of this push of, um, well, ultra-nationalism, that's for sure. But in education, uh, it's all part of this education reform where, um, well, you know, political thought is enmeshed with uh, learning at every level in every subject. In our English courses, the syllabus, um, I don't have it in front of me. It says something like um, that uh, we are supposed to be teaching uh, not just English and uh, whatever our subject is. We are supposed to be teaching um, you know, Chinese values. It's more for the Chinese teachers than me, tell you the truth. When I first started teaching in China way back when, we, uh, we knew, we were told, the scuttlebutt was, we weren't supposed to talk about the four T's. Taiwan, Tiananmen, Tibet. And I say four T's, but for the life of me, I can't remember the fourth T right now. It's just, you know, it's almost ancient and quaint. I think today, nobody, nobody talks about Tiananmen. Uh, it's, I, I don't even know how much in the consciousness uh, or knowledge of Chinese today, the Tiananmen uh, Square massacre, I, I, I don't know what they know about it, if they know about it, at all. It's just not a topic. You know, the topics now seem to be Taiwan, Xinjiang, 
Um, you know, don't mess with uh, the islands in the South China Sea, that kind of thing. I guess sensitivities have changed. In any case, I've gotten a memo before. Please don't talk about sensitive topics in class. Another sports field, another opportunity to run the video until I'm told not to. I want to show you these. This really, you know, these are just students and part of their training involves, like I said, lecturing, uh, counseling, a lot of talking. So they bring their backpacks, water, and they bring their own stools. After their training, you'll see them walking back to their dorms or the cafeteria carrying these stools. I'm gonna end this video now. I really wanna thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. And I'd also appreciate it if you pressed the like button and please drop a comment below. Share this video, sharing is caring. And finally, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Catch you guys later. School starts Monday. The walk of shame again. Caught. Told to go away.